if you accidentally deleted a file or folder from your computer it will be moved to recycle bin and you can recover the file or folder from recycle bin there are some exceptions where the deleted file will not be moved to recycle bin if you delete a file from a removable disk or usb flash drive it will not be moved to recycle bin if files are stored on network drive if you delete them then they won't be moved to recycle bin on your computer but it might be moved to the recycle bin on network if you delete a file from command prompt then also it will not be moved to recycle bin files deleted from compressed or zipped folders will not be moved to recycle bin you can manually bypass moving the file to recycle bin by pressing and holding the shift key while deleting a file let's delete a file by pressing and holding the shift key open any folder select the file you want to delete right click on the mouse now press and hold the shift key and then click on delete windows prompt if you want to permanently delete the file click on s you can see it's not moved to the recycle bin the recycle bin is empty you can check how much space is allocated by windows in recycle bin for each drive generally windows allocates about 10% of disk space but you can change the value right click on recycle bin icon on your computer click on properties select the drive and you can see the memory allocated for recycle bin you can change the value to whatever you need if the recycle bin is full and you delete another file then windows will remove the oldest file from the bin to accommodate the newly deleted file if you don't want to move the files to recycle bin when deleted from this drive you can select the checkbox don't move files to recycle bin remove files immediately when deleted click on okay now let's try deleting a file check the recycle bin you can see the recycle bin is empty if you want windows to display a confirmation dialog box when a file is deleted select the check box display delete confirmation dialog click on okay now let's try to delete another file you can see are you sure you want to move this file to the recycle bin prompt click on as now the file is deleted and it's moved to recycle bin in the recycle bin windows displays the file name and its original location from where it was deleted note that deleted folder shows only a folder you can't see the names of files inside the folder but if you restore the folder windows will restore the folder and its contents let's try to delete a folder if you go to recycle bin you can see the folder but you can't see the contents restore the folder then windows will restore the folder along with its along with its contents click on restore
you can see that folder is restored along with the files inside the folder. Restore all items or restore the selected items, put the items back to the folders from which they were deleted. If your recycle bin has files deleted from a long time, restore all might create a problem because you might have deleted some of the folders or moved around files. It's better to restore only the selected files. If you want to restore the file to a different location, select the item, click on home tab, click on move to and you can select the new location. The deleted files in recycle bin occupy the same amount of disk space before it's deleted. To reclaim the disk space, the files have to be deleted from the recycle bin. You can select the file and press delete or you can right click on the item and click on delete to delete the file permanently from the recycle bin. To empty the entire recycle bin, click on empty recycle bin. If you like this video, please subscribe to our channel.